How you doing, family? This is Chris Rod with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news from NBC News, family. Uh, it says, Donald Trump, California Attorney General, uh, at least 13 states suing over Trump's national emergency. Uh, the president does have broad authority, but he does not have authority to violate the Constitution, Xavier Becker said on Monday. So now they want to try to uphold the Constitution when they wasn't worried about the Constitution on other things. Now they want to try to uh, bring the Constitution out. Uh, California and a dozen other states are filing a lawsuit challenging 45 National Emergency De Declaration. California Attorney General Xavier uh, Becerra said Monday, the president admitted that there is not a basis for the declaration. He admitted there is no crisis at the border. He's now trying to rob funds that were allocated by Congress legally to the various states and people of our states. Becerra told Andrea Mitchell, uh, yeah, Michelle, on MSNBC Monday afternoon, uh, the separation of powers is being violated. We're going to go out there and make sure that 45 cannot steal money from the states and people who needed them since we paid the taxpayers dollars to Washington, D.C. to get those services. He said, you know, Trump, Trump said, fuck that. If y'all don't give me this money, give me that five point seven billion dollar for my damn border wall. I'm going to just start fucking taking money. From all these other programs that we was uh has been allegated for um for these other states. Says Trump said on Friday that he would bypass Congress by declaring a national emergency to build a wall along the nation's southern border after a uh, protracted battle in which Congress has repeatedly declined to give the president billions to build border barriers. And it says a national emergency declaration gives the president special powers to take taxpayers' dollars from other budgets to pay for border wall con construction. But legal challenges to such an effort are inevitable. Before the emergency was declared, Bricara vowed to reject this foolish proposal in court the moment it touches the ground. So Trump is very adamant about getting his wall up, family. You know you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Trump is, he's trying to appease his base so much because he know if you don't get that damn wall up, he already know he will not be reelected in 2020. So he's trying very, very hard to get this fucking wall up. Uh, the president does have broad authority, but he does not have authority to violate the Constitution. Because said, uh, President Obama said they always want to they always want to bring Obama in this, whether if it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? And said President Obama never did this. He never tried to raid accounts, funding accounts that had been allocated by Congress. When a president tries to do that, the Supreme Court will typically step in and say, keep your hands out of the cookie jar. See, they always want to bring Obama into this, even as when it's good or bad. McCarry has sued the president dozens of times already, and the president signaled that he expected this lawsuit during his Friday remarks. And as y'all can see, it says, um, I'll sign the final papers as soon as I get into the Oval Office, and we will have a national emergency, and then we will then be sued, and then will sue us in the Ninth Circuit, even though it shouldn't be there. That's what he said. This is what he said, family. Trump said, speaking of the largest circuit court, which includes California, and we will possibly get a bad ruling, and then we will get another bad ruling, and then we will end up in the Supreme Court, and hopefully we'll get a fair shake, and we will win in the Supreme Court, just like the ban. So that's what, this is what he's hoping, family. Said New Jersey, Colorado, and Connecticut all confirmed to NBC News that they are a part of the lawsuit. The only national emergency is the president trafficking in lies and deceit, Connecticut Attorney General William Tong said in a statement. So, family, he is really adamant about this damn national emergency. And he's, he, want, he want that wall up so bad. He want that wall up so bad. He's willing to take away from other people in other um, states.
to get this wall up. Like I said, he came at the beginning saying, "Oh, Mexico is gonna pay for this wall. He gonna make they're gonna make sure Mexico pay for this wall." And I already knew that was a fucking lie, because Mexico came out, out said plenty and plenty of times. They say they ain't paying for shit, but he's very stupid and very uh, adamant about getting this damn boat of water up. So, family, y'all let me know what y'all think. I put the link down in the description down below. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and I'll be back with another one, family. I'm out. Love y'all.